My dear brothers and sisters, I cannot adequately convey to you the joy I feel on this historic occasion. With regard to the temple which will be built upon this site, it means everything to Latter-day Saints. It unites families here and in eternity. President Thomas S. Monson lends his voice to express the overflowing happiness of Latter-day Saints in Italy on the day ground was broken for the Rome Temple. <laughs> that event was nearly two years ago. Today, the construction of the Rome Temple is well underway. The scaffolding that rises up to greet a busy suburban neighborhood that surrounds the temple site is hard to miss. But there is one very unique feature to the temple grounds that is yet to be seen. The Christus statue and all of the apostles of Christ's time that will one day soon stand inside the Rome Temple Visitor Center. The Christus is one of the more enduring symbols of faith found within the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and is displayed in many church visitor centers. The original was sculpted in Rome by Danish master Bertel Thorvaldsen and was completed in the early 1800s. Today, Thorvaldsen's Christus, along with the Twelve Apostles, graces the interior of the Church of Our Lady, the National Cathedral, in Copenhagen, Denmark. It was here, in Copenhagen, that the Church and its project team was granted access to these statues in order to digitally map every detail of Thorvaldsen's work. And what comes next is a remarkable blend of art and technology to recreate these masterpieces nearly 200 years later, in the very country they were originally sculpted. Later in the World Report, we'll take you to the mountains of Carrera, Italy, and to the caves of marble, where one artist so long ago found the stone that seems to symbolize so well the light of Christ. Carrera, Italy, this picturesque city nestled between the Mediterranean shore to the west and the chalk-colored peaks to the east has a storied past. And it's not just because of the natural beauty that surrounds it or the mesmerizing historic architecture of the Tuscany region that people flock to see in central Italy. For centuries, the marble mountaintops of Carrara have supplied the gleaming vision of white stone to countless artists dating back to Roman times. Earlier in this edition of the World Report, we told you about a special project underway to painstakingly duplicate sculptor Bertel Thorvaldsen's original Christus and Apostle statues in Copenhagen, Denmark. To recreate, by hand and machine, exact replicas that will be on permanent display in the Rome Temple Visitor Center. But the new statues being crafted will have more than just an identical appearance. They will be cut from the very same marble quarry here in Carrera that provided Thorvaldsen with his original Christus stone nearly 200 years ago. It's so pure. It doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. Born in Carrera, Franco Baratini has been cutting stone from the Michelangelo quarry from the time he was 12 years old. It's called Michelangelo marble because Michelangelo came here to get the marble for the Pietà. From Michelangelo to Thorvaldsen to today, this quarry provides, yet again, from this wall of white stone, the perfect raw material worthy of a masterpiece. A short drive down the hill, the cut stone is measured to exactness to accommodate the full stature of the Christus and the Apostles. Once that process is complete, the modified marble is brought to the Tor Art Facility, situated at the doorstep of the quarry. The shaped marble is ready for the most transformative step of all, being milled by computer-directed robotic machines that slowly begin to reveal the likeness and image of Christ. The works, the sculptures were always made for a spiritual reason. I can't tell you to what religion this spirituality belongs, because the world is so large and varied. 
But before all the people of various backgrounds see the new Christus, Peter, and the rest of the 12 apostles at the Rome Visitor Center, the finishing touches will be applied here at the studio of Michelangelo. At this artist's workshop, under the direction of Luciano Massari, the final hand finishing will be applied, assuring that the finishing touches bring to life the impact of Thorvaldsen's original contribution to the Christian world. This project is very interesting because it is a collection so big and important and meaningful. We will not add anything more than that which we had found in our research. We will seek to give again the spirit, that portion of the soul that only the finished work of art can give. The day will soon come when the Rome Temple and its visitor center will be completed. Its projected finish, 2014. And when the actual day arises, a new beginning for the curious who come to see and hear what Latter-day Saints truly believe.